That's a killer. That's a killer on the yeah, farm. Yeah. Coldest air of the season arrives as we go into the end of the week. <laughs> Have winter storm number two headed our way on Friday with a chance once again for more snow. Welcome back to Paragon Ridge Ranch. Chrissy here. And today we are going to talk about the weather. So in the next week or so, we're going to have some sub-zero temps. A big Arctic blast is coming. And it had me thinking, what did we do to prepare? So I went back to last year's video and I kind of went through it to see how the animals are doing. And the models I've seen have been like negative 20s. And that's just, that's just too crazy for chickens and for animals. This week is going to be really busy. We're going to do everything we can to prepare them so they have the best chance of survival here on our farm. It's gonna get really cold, buddy. It's gonna get really, really cold, bubbas. Kind of feels like the calm before the storm. There's not really any wind, it's just really cold today. Girls, how are you doing? Hi, girls. The problem that I foresee is that it's supposed to rain for like two or three days before it goes below zero. So that's the big concern, especially with chickens. They can get frostbite on their combs, on their feet, they can die. But they do have some pretty good survival skills as long as we can help them out with them. Today, my love. Oh, it's pretty muddy looking. Yeah, pretty muddy. I just don't really want that mud on me. Hi, Peppa. Hi, babe. That's a nugget. There you are. Hanging out with the sheep. Large Marge. How's your day? Hi, Large Marge. Now, generally, whenever you have any kind of livestock that are going to kid, they always wait for the absolute worst weather day. Large Marge, she should be having babies anytime now. Both of the pigs, I think they're due January 17th. This is getting a little scary. to talk about the arctic blast that's coming and the things we have to do to prepare this week yeah it's a lot i think number one is protecting shelters from wind and rain yes. so we can either go get a really thick ml plastic tarps for painting for greenhouses or we can go to harbor freight a whole bunch of blue tarps i don't know we're gonna have to figure it out because it's gonna it's gonna be a lot of them whatever it is we got, yeah. we got a lot of coverage. There is a lot to cover. That'll take care of the chickens from being out of the weather, not getting wet, and out of the wind. They can survive in below zero temperatures. They just need to be not wet and out of the wind. They need to have perches. When they're on their perches, they could fluff up and, and cover up their feet. Their comb is a concern, so we can cover all the combs with Vaseline. That should last, I don't know, half a day or so. Water. Water's concerning. Yeah, we got several pins, so we'll have to constantly be checking the water and coming out here and refilling it with hot water. Yeah, um, that's what we did last year yeah. is we ran really hot water in our 
Hey, hey, calm down. Yeah, last year we went and we used the dog wash. We just kept doing really, really hot water and big, huge pots and bringing them out here. Each one of the pens had rubber pans, so whenever it got too cold, we could flip it over, dump it out, kick the ice out, and put new hot water in. I used to do boiling water, but I don't think there's any reason to do boiling water. No. It's hard for me to carry all the way out here. I know last year we did that every hour or so. We'd come check on them, and it's brutal. Brutal. It's brutal. It's supposed to get down, they're saying now, like four degrees sometime next weekend, like Friday night or Saturday night, but it's constantly changing. And then the high is going to be like 20 uh, during the day. Yeah. That's not looking forward to that. We got yeah. rain like three or four times this week, too. That's what's worrisome is if yeah. everything's wet, wet and cold and wind, that's a killer. That's a killer on yeah, the farm. Definitely. They will all die. I mean, if they're wet and the wind blows and it's four degrees, it's instant. Ugh. I can't think about it. That takes care of this area. We need to talk about Gen Pop. Well, Summers, check. Guineas, check. Favreau's, check. Moran's, check. All right, over here is Gen Pop, and they have a coop. Yeah, they got a nice little house over there. They do, and it's served us well for probably, what, seven or eight years now? Yeah. Uh, the only thing is their water. So we have that big, huge pool. Yep. For the ducks and that definitely will freeze like, that's it oh, absolutely. Right so what we generally do in the big gem pop coop is we put the crock pot crock pot crock pot on high with no top on the water stays cold but it doesn't freeze and we just check that every single time we come out all we need to do is run an extension cord out here for them correct all right gen pop check olive egger and cream leg bars what are we going to do with them i think they'll be fine because they got their little their little houses to go up in and they're they're enclosed so yeah. i think they'll be fine and they already have rubber pans for their yep. water yep so they should be good we might just put a whole bunch of extra shavings. wood chips yeah, yeah we'll a whole bunch of shavings in there. in there even if they kick them out if it keeps them warm yeah. for a couple days because the arctic blast is going to last for what they say how many say. days i don't Didn't know say yet. So i think they'll be good Blue bagers, check cream leg bars Check. What about pigs? Pigs are great. We got that little house right there for them. We need to put some extra hay in there. Yeah, we can do that for sure. We'll shovel in some extra hay so they're nice and warm. My big concern is that I think Sausage Nugget is due to have babies on January 17th. Hopefully, we can get through this and her not have babies. Exactly. And stay warm, and then it'll warm back up. I want this cold snap very long. <laughs> I hate cold weather. <laughs> you said it's painful. It is. Like, it, it hurts. hurts. <laughs> it hurts so bad. I don't like it. Hi boys. How's my boys? They're both smiling. Hi boys. Pigs, check. Get out. Get out. Put it in your food. Come on. Get out. Get out. Meow, 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 meow. Look, now they come out. To eat. Yeah, see. You scared them away. He scares them away. He's a jerk. What about Americanas? Oh, they're good. They're double good. They're, they're behind the house here for the gin pop, and they have their own little house. Okay, so you think they're nice and warm enough? Uh, and they've got hay in there. It's pretty yes. deep in there for them. Americanas are great. good? They're great. Okay, great. Americanas, check. What about the cows? I think the cows will be okay. We built them that that shed over there, the loafing shed. Yes. And the cows and the, the sheep will be great over there. It's facing the south, so it's going to block the north wind. I think they'll be just fine. Cattle, check. Okay, put one plate right there and just put one plate like here. You ready to eat, honey? Are you ready to eat? Come on. Come on. Let's go and eat. Let's go. Watch out. Go get daddy before the sheep come. Come on, baby cow. Come on. Come on. Take it. Isabella, here. Come on, baby. Daddy's got here. food. Isabella, here's your plate. Isabella. Here, here, girl. Here. He's a good baby cow. He's a good. We might take some of that hay because it's all over the ground and put some more in the shelter. Yeah, look where Donkey stands. He stands right here and protects oh, him. He does. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pile right that's there. That's a poop pile. Whiskey, is that your poop pile? 
Whiskey, whiskey. Yeah, that would be it. Be so he stands there and protects them. Yeah, they sleep in here. There's oh, coffee man. beans everywhere. Look Dude, at that. That is a lot. Mm -hmm. They love this. I know. Look at that. They use the crap out of it. That'd be good in my garden. So is this cold or hot? <laughs> cold. Cold. So you can take it dry. Oh. Directly in the garden. Then before we put hay in here, we need to scoop this stuff up. Yeah. Once we cover it with hay, it's going to be more difficult. Yeah, but we'll scoop it up and put hay, and then that'll uh -huh. break down, and they'll poop on it more, and oh yeah. This perfect. is nice. Mm -hmm. It's warm in here, actually. It? When you're out of that wind, it feels so good. I did a great job. <laughs> oh, and, and Jason Crocker and Preston a little bit. Is this your house? Do the pigs come in here? You think they sleep in here? She's a little noisy girl. Yeah. Look at them. They're like, why are you in our house? Hey. We're going to sleep with you guys tonight. Yeah. You are nice and warm and fleecy. Yeah, nice and fleecy. Please don't ram me. Is that the boy? I believe so. He's the only one that's really nice that's brown. Yeah. Is it him? That's him. Okay. He's, he's, he's he a, wants to love, but he yeah. might ram. You might stay back there, buddy. Evelyn. Did you say hi to her today? No. Evelyn. Hey, girl. Oh, ram. Ball ram you. Ball ram you. See, look, if I rub his head, he tries to push on me. Ball ram you. Beast mode. Not happening today. It's pretty dark in there. It is. I think he was nicely trying to tell me to get out of his shelter. Probably. He's is like, that? this is for my ladies. <laughs> this is for my ladies. He's got a lot of them. Yeah. You got a lot of ladies, buddy. All right. I think they're going to be great. They'll be fine. We'll scoop up some of that wasted hay down there. We'll use that for bedding. Uh, that, yeah, that. Bring out a new hay bale, too. Yeah, when did you bring that out? Christmas Day, right? Uh, yeah, it was Christmas Day. You and Bubba came out here and put it, it up. Was it Christmas Day? Yeah. I just don't want it on the ground, so if you want to give them a couple more days with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I, or take that and put it in there as their bedding and then put a new one, but whiskey. Whiskey, whiskey. whiskey. Large Marge. She wants a little bit of blood. Uh, beast Mode's behind you. Hey, you better watch out, bro. Yeah, Hopefully they'll get this hay bale knocked out. They're getting excited like you're getting new hay or something. I think, yeah, they'll get it ate up in a couple of days. There's a lot of hay right here. Look how deep this oh, is. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're definitely going to put this in there. Did you just scoop it up with the bucket, or what do you think? That's the grapple? We'll, that's what we'll... Uh, you can use a grapple bucket. Yeah, I'll probably do that, and then scoop it, grab it, and then I might be able to kind of dump it, and then we can just uh, rake it, rake it out. Isn't that right, guys? Yeah, I think the sheep will be fine. Sheep, good. Sheep. Check. That silky boy. You try to feed him. He attacks you. Yeah, he's come mean. On. Come on, girl. Yeah, come Frosty, on, hear me. Come on. Isabella, come on. Come on, come on. Winston. Come on. I hey, mean, Winston. Winston. Baby cow. Come on. Baby cow. Come on. Baby cow. Isabella, come on. Come on. Stay back, piggy. Stay back. Sausage nugget. Stay. Stay. Back. Come on, girl. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Go. Please. Go. I usually shake a bucket of food and bring it out here. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on, Isabella. Hey, come on. Hey, come here. Okay. Hey, whoa, don't eat my hand. There you go. Ready? Ready? There you go. There. Oh, here comes a baby behind you. No more, honey. You just had a little fun. No more. Nope. Nope, don't let her in. Nope, come on, back up. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. It's really chilly out here. It is. That is the work that we have intended for this week. There's gonna be a lot more, depending on how the weather goes. But that's a start. At least we kind of are trying to be prepared, trying to get an action plan, and then we'll implement it through the week. Yes, definitely, because we gotta be prepared for this cold, cold weather. Yes, for sure. <laughs> I guess that's all for today, guys. If you would like and subscribe, Mm -hmm. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. If you got any suggestions about anything, you might leave that too. 
And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. See ya. Bye.